I was under the UK doctors for many, many years, 10 years, and, and they, they, there was nothing they can do to resolve or help me. Everyone here, it's like a big family. They, they're from the, from the cleaners to the cooks, the nurses, doctors, the administration. They all just treat you as a person and they look after you properly. It's not dark anymore and I, and I can see outlines of things. So that's improved straight away. So after 20 years of having failed vision, mm -hmm. um, I've got a bit of hope. I've got hope. Can you please tell me where you're from and what brought you to the clinic? I'm from the UK and what brought me to the clinic was um, <coughs> I had problems with my sight and I was looking on the uh, website outside the UK to see who could sort of help with my condition. And then I saw the Swiss Medica website and looked into that then and went from there. Can you please tell me a little bit more about your condition specifically? I'm interested in about your symptoms, how uh, did they manifest during the ordinary day? I told my vision about 20 years ago, 2023 in the UK, and uh, saw the doctors and they couldn't identify totally what the problem was. All they said was there's problems in the optic nerve, which is the back of the eye. And I was under the UK doctors for many, many years, 10 years, and, and they, they, there was nothing they can do to resolve or help me. So I then left it a little while and then I started looking and um, looked more into optic nerve. I've got, I've got optic nerve damage, which um, I believe it's, it's been caused by uh, severe head trauma um, through multiple collisions or bangs over the years. I've done quite a, quite a lot of sport in my time, boxing, martial arts. Mm -hmm. I've had a few accidents as well, and I think I'm only assuming this has all accumulated to where the condition I've got now. So <clears throat> I came here for Christmas, Christmas time, and I, what, before I came here, um, I'll mention this, I went to Turkey first of all, because I couldn't get my records from the UK, medical records, mm -hmm. quickly. Mm -hmm. and everybody, everybody I spoke to said, we must have your up-to-date records on you. Mm -hmm. before we can look or you can come here. So I went to Turkey for two days and I had diagnosis, MRI scans, blood tests, and I had a full file on my up-to-date condition. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time in 25 years I fully understood what my problem is. Mm. So I bought, the, I bought the file here, I shown it to the team's um, what's her name? Oh, Rizika. Send mm -hmm. it to Rizika mm -hmm. and Dr. Dalibor. They've got the file complete. They've mm -hmm. read through it. So then they understood before I came here exactly. And they agreed it was optic nerve damage that I've got. Not, not a disease, just caused by head trauma. And that's, and they said they're going to try and treat me in stem cell to improve. Before coming to the clinic and before flying to the Turkey, have you done something to cope with symptoms? There was nothing given to me. The only thing I was, in the UK, all I was, all I was, I used to go every six months to the hospital and I used to have MRI scan, I had blood tests, I had tests for brain tumours, brain disease, SARS disease, multiple sclerosis, everything. And after six months, I'd go back to see the doctor, the main guy, and he'd say, okay, you haven't got this, you haven't got that, you haven't got this. Um, we're not sure what to do with you, but I'll see you in six months' time. And that went on for 10 years. In the end, I just stopped going because I got, a bit, I got fed up going and having no results, no answers, no solution. So, and all they ever gave in, in that time was some eye drops to relieve the eye pressure mm. in my eyes. But I had the eye pressure test for over eight hours and my eyes were always in, within range on the eye pressure test. That's all I had, is, is eye drops. Did the condition progress during the time, or it it was st it was stable? It, it was it was stable for the first ten years. You know, it was awkward, but it was manageable. <clears throat> and then the last three to five years, it was steadily, you know, little things getting worse. You know, blurred and that. And I thought I need to sort this now. So that's when I got in touch with you guys last year. How did you know about stem cells? At home. I, I was looking online for about the past eight, nine years at a possible solution for optic nerve damage. I was looking everywhere and that's, there, was, there was you know, nothing, nothing really there. 
I kept it to myself. Family, my nearest knew, but I just kept the whole thing to myself generally. And then the stem cell came about. <laughs> I got a. Uh, God, I can say. I do bodybuilding, right? Mm -hmm. Weightlifting. I've all done weightlifting. Not too big now, but even quite big, right? Mm -hmm. and there was a famous bodybuilder from Egypt who damaged his back and his arms. Mm -hmm. and he, he had muscle atrophy in his arms. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I just saw online that he'd had, he was going for stem cell treatment on his back, on the back nerves. And it was going to take three. And, I, and then I got the interest, and I started looking at that for this person. And that led me on to, I thought, and I just wondered, I thought, I wonder for myself. So I just Googled, you know, optic nerve damage stem cell treatment. And I became Swiss Medica basically from there. Mm. So that's all, that's all I got into. That was about four years ago. When I started four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. I started looking. Yeah, yeah. and I kept looking, and then I'd look, and then I'd get, oh, you know, there's nothing there. Or I'd go so far, and become uh, despond. And I'd stop, and then three more, four months later, I'd look again. And and last year, I'd get, it'd get a bit desperate. I spoke to the family, and I said, "Look, I need help here." And she helped. She knew people who'd been to Turkey for. I said, I said, I need to have this diagnosis. And she said, she put me in touch with a hospital in Turkey mm -hmm. and done, took on the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. but, they, but they couldn't go to the treatment. That's why I came here. Why have you chosen Swiss Medica uh, out of the option that's available in the market? <laughs> Good question. There's not that many out there that can do the optic nerve treatment. As far as, as, far as me and my partner, um, friend looked. And, um, you know, it kept coming back to Swiss Medical all the time, it kept coming back here. And uh, <coughs> I remember now. First of all, I, thought, I got in touch with you guys about three, like, three or four years ago. And somebody phoned me, maybe an agent or somebody, an English guy. And he said, yeah, there's probably something we can do. And um, we, we, can, we can get you done it, go to Germany and do this. Or, or he went to the place to come out. But he never came back to me. Well, I left that for six months and I went off again. And then before I went to Turkey last year, so June, July last year, I found, contacted somebody at Swiss, Swiss Medica, or my friend did, and a woman found me back. And she kept, she was sales, I could tell she was trying to push, and she kept phoning me, and uh, and she kept saying, like, it's going to cost this, it's going to cost I said, well, you know, you're not telling me the details of the treatment, you're not telling me exactly what I want to hear, you're just generalising. And in between that, I went to Turkey for the diagnosis. So I went to Turkey, September, October, two to three days. Saw the whole, the team were good. They were a very good team, but they made it quite clear there. They, I saw a professor, I saw a, a neurologist. She was very, very good. Uh, the test results, you know, everything was fantastic. But he, he said, he was quite open. He says that, you know, he said, this is new to us. We were not sure, you know, and I said, fine. I said, I don't understand that. And I came back and I had, I had a think and I looked again and come back to Swiss Medica and then I contacted you guys again and then they said we can uh, get you into Belgrade and that's how I went from there. So, mm -hmm. so I started the process properly after three three previous tries, uh, October, November time where you go mm -hmm. to Swiss Medica. Yeah. As far as I understand you came here on December 2023. Tw yes. 2023. How was your experience uh, in the clinic? What were your expectations? In the clinic? Mm -hmm. I was overwhelmed. You know, better than I expected. Um, I travelled on my own. When I went to Turkey, I went with my whole family. Because I can't see around the airport. Yeah, very... I have to have assisted travel. Yeah. So when I get to the airport, people take me through the airport. So. I was nervous coming here, very, very nervous, you know. Oh. Um, I'm still nervous going back because I go back on my own. But anyway, um, I came through the airport fine. They all look after me great, like, you know, and I'll get here. As soon as, as, soon as I get to his airport here, because I, I, the first voice I had from IM clinic here was Anastasia, yeah? So mm -hmm. uh, he was like, oh, you just put me these. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And she said, I've got all your details, you haven't got to worry about nothing, I mean, sounds too good to be true, yeah? And mm -hmm. then she met me at the airport, um, with the driver, and just fantastic. We did, 
got here, settled me in, and since I've been here, um, I would say everyone, you know, I'm not emotional about this, but everyone here, it's like a big family. They, they're from the, from the cleaners to the cooks, the nurses, doctors, the administration, they all just treat you as a person and they look after you properly. I haven't had no worries being here at all. And the first time I came in, in December, I had some concerns halfway through the treatment. I wasn't sure what was going on. Got a bit confused. Because there's a lot of information coming at you. People mm -hmm. they are telling me lots and lots of things. I'm having lots of treatment. Mm -hmm. But I have to try and like think what they're saying. Because if I, I had nobody here with me, you see, sat with me. So I was getting confused. And then one day I went down the stairs. You're halfway. I said, oh, I says, I says, what's the matter? I said, oh, I'm not sure about this. She says, okay. And within 10 minutes, I was sat in here with all the people, the team, the whole team, mm -hmm. and says, tell us your concerns. So I told them everything. And they just put me mind at ease. So here's your plan. We know, we know what's wrong with you now. Here's your plan. This is what we're going to do. And we'd like you to come back in now, January, or in, in no, February now, um, for further treatment. And that's where I am now. So they've taken care of everything. I haven't had to, once as soon as I got here, I didn't have to worry about nothing. But my concerns, my concerns were, once I'm here, then what? Then what happens? So I'm on my own, you know, but no. Did you have any concerns about the treatment itself, about stem cells? Yeah, I mean, you know, that, that, that's the main thing, isn't it? The main thing, you know, is it going to work or isn't it? That's, that's the bottom line. That's, that's why you're here. And that's, that's the question. Um, still is the question. We're not sure, I'm not sure, but what I said to the... the the doctors and nurses, you know, it's, it's two way, it's, it's patient and doctor. And uh, I said, I'll be the best patient I can, give you no problems. Uh, and you do the best for me. And we sat in here, I can't remember the main person's name now, or the director. Shook his hand, he shook my hand. He said, we'll, we'll do the best for you. Oh, okay, fine. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, reassured, he reassured me totally, you know. that that that. That sort of like um, customer patient relationship, is, you won't get that many places. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. so. So far, so good. Do you have any concerns about safety of treatment? So, you know, I'll, 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 be, I'll be foolish to say no, I wouldn't. Yes, I've got concerns, but the, um, the desire, the wish, to be treated overcomes all that, you know, because after 20 years of having failed vision, mm -hmm. um, I've got a bit of hope. I've got hope. That's what it is, you know. And when I see the other patients here as well, you know, they say to me, like, you know, the, the kids will be shouting and running about, but, you know, but they're here for the same reason as I am as well. I've got to talk to one or two of them. And they're all the same. All the, it doesn't matter what condition you've got, all the patients here are, are here with the same hope and desire for an improved life. Why did you get back for the second time, for the second round of stem cells? No. Mm -hmm. First time I had all infusions, and I thought I'd, I thought well I did when I, I got confused initially with Swiss Medicare because they sent me a load of forms. Yeah. Mm. Well, I can't really see. It. I can't see very well. Mm. Right. I'm trying to get on. I've only got um, an iPad. Mm -hmm. I'm, trying, I'm up all hours at night looking down, trying to read. And I, I didn't understand what I was reading half the time. And in the end, I just ticked the box and said, okay. So when I got here, I thought I'd be getting the injection into the eye, the direct. And I didn't get that. And uh, I thought, oh, okay. So that's what I spoke to people in here. And that's all. You come back January, we'll organise that, plus more treatment. And that's what I've done now. So I've had the direct injections into the eye this week. Um, I've taken the adipose tissues from the stomach and I've had infusion as well. And how did you tolerate uh, uh, infusions into the into your eyes directly? <laughs> uh, how was it? For me, okay, it was a bit, you know, a bit, if you don't like needles, you know, you're going to have a problem. Um, no, I just, for me, like, the reason I came here was to have that, so I just have to go through it. Some people can be very unnerving because, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 you could feel the needle go past you, your bone in your eye. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, After the first round of the stem cells on, on, on December, ha 
Have you noticed any changes in your condition? Mm. Yeah. What are they? Yeah, so when I was here the first time in December, um, Dr. Dalibur came in through the morning and I said, oh, I like that, leaking in the automatic. I said, he seems brighter. He says, well, we haven't changed the lights. So my peripheral vision, mm. this eye has got 20 to 30 percent vision. This eye, I think, is about 75, right? There about. Mm -hmm. uh, first thing I noticed was with my left eye, my weaker eye, it's like um, the sunshine trying to burst through the clouds. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to, he's trying to look out. It's not very clear, but it's, get, it's not dark anymore, and I, and I can see outlines of things. So that's improved straight away. And that's the peripheral. I can see up certain corners of the room where it's bright. And when I got home from here, I was just sitting down talking and I, and, I, and I kept doing that and somebody said, what's the matter? And I said, I keep thinking somebody's going to walk past me. But what it was, my vision was improving this mm. side and I could now see further around that way, you see. So I've got more peripheral all around vision in this side. The main, the main thing is now, like Dali said, we've got to work on the central, central vision, the blurriness and the reading and the uh, stuff like that, the, the distance. So that's why I think I need to carry on. With, and then I noticed when I came back, uh, come Friday, mm -hmm. uh, I had a few blood tests, etc, etc. I went to go on the show on Saturday morning, mm -hmm. and there's a little show bottles. Have you seen those show bottles? Mm -hmm. They're about so high, yeah? So I picked one up, I went, oh, and I ain't got my glasses on. Oh, that says shampoo. I picked the other one, oh, that says conditioner. Oh, that says body lotion. There, so that you couldn't do that before. No, no. Yes. I struggled before with my glasses on. Nice to hear that. But he's he just upstairs. And Dr. Dalibu just gave me um, some infusion thing. Not coming Exosomes. Exosomes. Yes. He said, he said, this is the has to show you because it's part of routine, right? Mm -hmm. And I'd hold it there. He went, what? And I read the I read the top line. And he went, oh. I said, is that right? He went, yeah. I went, oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to say something conditional? Probably would like to share with something that I didn't ask you. I'd probably say it's a personal thing. So I don't mind sharing my personal story, but um, this decision, anybody who, who wishes, you know, who, who's struggling with every condition, um, they can make an informed decision with the team here. I think that's the main thing. The team here will help you make an informed decision whether or whether not you want to. Go with stem cell. That's all I can say. My own personal experience.